you guys want to buy very cheap coins to pick up some team of the season players, inform players, some ledges that you weren't able to pick up before, make sure you check out FIFA suppliers. Their link is in the description, and please use that link in the description because that's how they know you guys came from me. Welcome everybody, this is Mitch Games Master one here, and today I'm going to bring you guys the top 10 right mids and right wings that I've used in FIFA 14. And you know what? I always like to tell you guys heads up what I'm bringing. Uh, Friday, I'm going to bring for you guys a new top 14, not top, not top 14, but like a good one of those squad builders I show you on foothead, like just one of the best teams that I've used on FIFA 14. Then Saturday, I'm going to bring you guys how I played Division 1 with the Brazilian Silvers Part 2. But this time, I've been practicing with them. I have loyalty, and I think I can get the win this time. And Sunday, I'm going to bring you guys a how I played Division 1 challenge using a full goalkeeper team. So stay up to date. If you don't see it in your sub box, just press on my channel and you find it. But I'm 100% sure going to upload those for you guys. And today, top 10 right mids. And again, 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 this is my personal opinion. This is uh, depending on my style of gameplay, depending on the players that I've used. So don't be like, oh, why didn't you add this guy? Why isn't this guy on the list? Some players I've, I've never used, and some players, they're just not my style. For example, Ibarbo. People think Ibarbo's the best player in the game. I don't like him. He's not my style. I like players that take good touches and so. So again, this is my top 10. Just make it clear. In number 10 spot, I'm going to give this one to... Blashikovsky, I would I would have known how to spell his name, but this guy is one of the fastest players in the game, and he used this guy in a false line formation. He could make runs if he's in four one one two. He could make runs on cross. He's probably one of the most used right mids in this game, especially early game with that super op headers with Aubameyang and Lewandowski. Blashikovsky was cheap. He's fast and he could get the job done. So most used, but I used to like him for he has four weak foot and. He, he was actually pretty decent finishing, in my opinion, because I used to always cut in down the middle with him and just skill and just finish. Not bad, not bad. He gets the number 10 spot. Number 9. I'm going to give this to another pacey motherfucker. People use him for sweat. However, if you use him in the right ways, he could be really fucking good. And I'm talking about Jesus Navas. Jesus Navas. This guy... He's so, so good. Remember early game, he was going for like 50k. Now look at that, 4,000. That's ridiculous. Yeah, but what I really like about this guy is his pace and his 4-star skills and 86 dribble. That stands out a lot for me. And of course, if you like to sweat, passing is good. His shooting is actually not bad inside of the box. Inside the box, I want to say 8 times out of 10, 7 times out of 10 he scores. The other 3 is just corners. But... His pace, he's always a threat to your opponent. High attacking work rate, pacey guy, definitely a threat to your opponent. He gets the number 9 spot. Number 8, I'm going to give this to a player that I reviewed. Uh, he's an inform player, and it's inform Danny Sturge. This is what they released, uh, his right fielder. I think that was his first inform or something. Uh, 83 rated Danny Sturridge. What I really, really loved about this guy, I wish he had better work rates. However, if you use this guy in a 4 3 3 attacking or a false 9, he, again, right wing, right fielders, I look for the left foot, preferred foot, plus a little bit skill moves because I need to do skill moves to cut in, then I need the left foot to finish. So he got the 95 pace, I mean, got the 90 pace, 85 dribble, 82 shoot, same four heading. He was really, really good player. Watch the review. Let's go through my player reviews, or just search in from Danny Sturge Review, or Masters Sturge Review, or Division 1 Sturge Review, you'll find it. I assure you that, again, definitely deserves the number 7 spot for being OP as fuck. Now, number 7. I'm going to give this one to Angel De Maria. And this guy, if he goes to Manu, I'll be super happy. If he goes to PSG, I'll be happy too. I'm a Manchester United fan. But I'm a Zlatan fan. I'm, I'm, I literally, whatever team Zlatan goes to, I support that team. I want them to win. Because Zlatan, he's the fucking man. And if he goes to PSG, oh my god, what a team they're going to have. But this guy, he has the pace. He has the amazing dribbling. He has the really good shooting. He has the amazing passing. He has the high attacking work rate. And he has the left foot. That's all I need. That's all I need. Only if he had like four weak foot, he, I would spend... 500k for this guy. If he had four or five weak foot, I would spend at least 400k for this guy. 
But since he doesn't have that much good weak foot, I think 20k is enough. <laughs> so he gets the number 7 spot. Now number 6. This guy is currently on my team. And it's a legend. And it's Freddy Yumber again. Again, top 6. Ahead of him, there are much better players. I'm not saying this guy is bad, but there is better players than him. This guy was going early game. This guy was going for 300k. I can't believe his price has gone up this much. He used to go for 300, 200k. He was the cheapest legend, I think, after like Robbie Fowler or, or Gary Neville was the cheapest. He was the second cheapest. But Yumberg is actually not bad. He has pace, dribble, shooting, passing, weak foot. Uh, this is he's more of a right mid than a right wing, honestly. But again, in my four one two one two, the formation that I use a lot, I'm currently using him on my legend squad. He's getting the job done. And he's cheaper than the other legends, so definitely gets the number six spot. Now we got to the top five. My bad. Now this player, you can consider him a right wing, a right forward, more than a right mid. He performed incredible in the World Cup. I wish they won a trophy or something, but I'm talking about Arjen Robin. This guy, just look at the stats. I'm not going to say anything. Look at the stats for three seconds. Okay, now I'm going to say something. 92 pace, 92 dribble, 85 shoot, 80 passing, 4 skill moves, high attacking work rate, low defensive. That says a left, I mean right forward all over him. Right wing, right forward, false 9, 4-3-3 four, three, three attacking. Right mid, you could use him as a right mid, but I don't know. I feel like a right mid is more of a guy that should have a better weak foot, should have medium work rate, and that could pass him more. Again, that's my opinion. But Robin... In the right fielder position, gets the number 5 spot, 100% sure about that. Now, we got to number 4, and this guy's another legend. However, you guys might be disappointed that he's number 4. However, I think he's overrated in this game. In real life, he was amazing, but I felt like this game, he was pretty overrated. Not fucking worth 5 million. Not, no way in hell this guy's worth 5 million. Okay, he has the... Uh, right foot, he has weak foot, he has skill moves. However, look at his stats, 83 pace. He has the dribbling and passing. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this guy's a bad player, but not worth 6 fucking million. 83 pace, 91 dribble, 80 shoot, 87 passing. Good, if if I had, like, unlimited coins, I would pick him up. But Eunberg, again, gets the job done for, like, three, 700k, got him for 300k. I gotta pick up this guy for 5 million. Definitely not worth it. 5 million, I could spend 5 million on better players, to be honest. But again, we're talking about which player is good, and Figo gets the number 4 spot. Now, got to the top 3, and now we're going to see a name that we already saw. We're talking about Robin. However, we're not talking about the normal Robin. Not about the Inform Robin. Not about the Inform Man of the Match Robin. I'm talking about Team of the Season. Blue card, Aryan Robin. Funny story about this guy. I reviewed him, got a lot of gameplay, got a lot of sick goals, however, right before I upload, like, the video was finalizing, I was, like, before I set the upload, I was just clearing stuff off my folder since my computer was almost out of space, I deleted the review that I was supposed to upload, I was so fucking devastated, the hours I put into getting the gameplay, into editing the gameplay, into, it was just very frustrating, but hopefully we'll find a, a Rob in here, they're probably all price fixed or something, there's probably none on the market. Hmm. Okay, there's one. There he is. Look at those stats. 95 pace, 97 dribble, 96 shoot, 90 passing, 4 skill moves, high attacking work rate. And his end game stats were just godly. He's just, he's just an amazing player. His weakness was his weak foot. You can't have two weak foot. He's literally as if he, you, can, you can only use his left foot. There's no such thing as weak foot. If the goal's open, he shoots with his right foot, he's going to miss. I assure you that. He only has a left foot, and that's kind of disappointing. But, again, you could go around that with that 95 pace, 97 dribble, 96 shoot, 90 passing. You could li you could limit yourself to your left foot. I think it's good enough. So he gets the number three spot. Number two, also a player that I review, and I'm talking about Gareth Bale. Where is his right mid card? Show me the money. He's going for 11 million. This is ridiculous. Next FIFA, every team of the season player I review, I'm just going to hold on to him. I'm just going to hold on to him until the game ends and just sell everybody and get like 60 million or something. 96 pace, 92 dribble, 95 shoot, 91 passing, 
80 defending, 82 heading. So basically the same stats as Robin, plus defending and heading. Better weak foot, and he has more strength. He also has more strength than Robin. Lacks some agility. However, you can put this guy in the right mid, or right wing, or right forward. Doesn't really matter. Really overpriced, but again, if you have the coins, pick him up. Definitely worth it. Very, very good player. That's the number two spot. Now we're left with number one. We're like, Tony, you named all the right mids and right wings. Who do you have left? Not all. I'm talking about De Maria blue card and he was hands down one of the best players that I ever reviewed watch my review on him and look at the gameplay and you'll literally shit yourself it's just something about this guy I know Robin has better stats has the same weak foot something about this guy his style of movement I'm used to it or I don't know it's just too fucking good 92 pace 91 dribble 87 shooting 90 passing 70 heading Four skill moves, two weak foot. For some reason, this guy is my favorite. Personally, my favorite right mid or right wing in this game. He's just too good. And I love Angel de Maria. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Come below, tell me anything you want. Am I right? Am I wrong? What's your top 10? Anything of that sort. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And yeah, expect a lot of videos coming this weekend. This is Mr. Games Master 1 here. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.